Akshay, Kartik, Pankaj, thank you so much for joining through this video call. Tell us, tell everyone, what is Corona Oven? What are you building there? Thanks, Shraddha, for having all of us here. Uh, so basically, uh, what we are facing as a challenge as an entire country, and I would say as a globe, is that uh, the spread of this virus through surfaces and through various uh, uh, objects, uh, that is a big risk. And anybody can get infected when some, some infected person touches a surface and then a healthy person touches that surface. So what we have come up with is that you can disinfect your uh, objects uh, using this chamber and uh, then uh, use it freely and uh, without any, any fear. Also what is happening is that there's a huge shortage of uh, medical supplies like your mask and PPE equipment across uh, the globe. And uh, although these masks are not to be reused again, but even CDC and WHO have said that because there is a short supply, so you, you can reuse it or uh, turn to like homemade mask and cloth, uh, cloth and all of that stuff. So what we are saying is that if you have to reuse it, uh, basically uh, disinfect it first in the Corona oven and then reuse it so uh, you are uh, better off that way. So at least uh, uh, the virus is killed and uh, then when you're reusing it, uh, there is a tremendously reduced risk of you infect, uh, getting infected uh, by the patient who you are treating. Also, if you, uh, as I was going around the city and uh, talking to the police guys who are on the roads uh, maintaining law and order and the ambulance people, so they have been given just one mask for an entire month. And uh, beyond the coronavirus itself, uh, the risk of catching the pathogen, uh, like other kind of pathogens, for example, like bacteria, molds, which, which will grow in that mask because you're always breathing through, through it and there's a lot of moisture, that itself can get uh, these people sick. Yeah. So there's a huge uh, health risk associated with long-term use of the same mask. So uh, th that is one of the biggest uh, use case and I think it will be very important for containing this outbreak in the country and across the globe. If you can decode actually what the Rona oven is. You know, the journey started that we know that uh, COVID-19 is very similar to the previous SAR virus that came in 2002. Yeah. And, you know, so we, our journey started with that. We were, we were all a bunch of scientists and engineers. And our focus was, you know, sitting at home, figuring out that, you know, what can we do about the situation? Obviously, we cannot invent a drug in such a short span of time. But we, we knew that the surface infection is one of the major secondary infection causing. And we also knew that, you know, that's, that's where the war is being, being fought at the hospital and the primary healthcare centers. So to decontaminate it from the surface, how do we do that? That's the question that we had. And we straight away jumped into learning curve from the a report that was published by FDA, where they saw and they, they generated the data that UV light can actually decontaminate or can kill a SAR virus. Using that data, you know, we started, we said that, you know, COVID-19 is a twin brother of the SAR virus. It looks the same. It has the similar RNA strand. It has a similar shape, size, structure, same protein that covers it up. So we said, you know what, if that, that particular light can kill SAR, why can't it kill COVID? So that's where the genesis of this entire theory started up. Uh, we drilled deep into the science, figured out it's doable. Uh, and what it meant was that we needed to design a, not every UV box will do this. So we needed to design a very different box that will do, do two things. First is it will give the UV, UV light from all 360 degrees. That was one, because you can't afford to miss a single spot on the infected surface. So that was one. And second was to design the box such that the necessary power beyond the light, be, you know, the necessary energy is given to the surface that is good enough to kill this. So with this, you know, patent uh, protected technology that we have developed, now we have the box that can give the necessary energy on the entire surface of, a, of an object that's kept into this box to kill a SAR, a COVID and other bacteria on the surface. We've in fact gone ahead, did simulations and studies on N95 masks, because that's where, you know, we're seeing a big application for this in the hospitals and medical care. So we've taken these N95 masks, these masks, which are, you know, being used in the hospital and we ensured that the mask gets the necessary energy on the surface to get completely decontaminated. Wow. So basically, Shraddha, if you see UV lights have been used uh, before as well for and have been uh, used for various applications like in salons, you'll find UV boxes or maybe you'll find UV in your RO as well. But more or less, whatever application and the mode of application of the product is pretty much random. But if you want to specifically target Corona or viruses 
to be killed you need precision so what we have built is a product which works on various parameters including distance wavelength etc uh puts in the right recipe or the right combination of these design parameters which can uh, finally disinfect corona so we are making uv application very precise for um, sterilization then how do you uh, plan to you know go to the market quickly with this so basically we are uh, we've already uh, talked to so we have we are already listed on the government e marketplace so we have already in touch with the government institutions where we can start supplying including hospitals um we have so in the current restraints it was difficult to get the supply chain in uh, to get the supply chain built but we have now secured the complete supply, supply chain to build the product tied up with the uh, vendors who can manufacture it and soon in the next 7 to 10 days we'll start uh, deploying we have got pretty much interest from a lot of people so it's not only a hospital utility but if you see because of corona uh, there is a sense of realization of personal hygiene in people sanitizers for example are becoming pretty mainstream now with time people will also start feeling so for example you get groceries at your home you don't know you know what was the value chain that it usually that it went to so this is when we have this box which pretty much looks like a microwave oven in terms of size and shape and people can very well disinfect whatever groceries or food parcels they get at their home itself so we are uh, posting it for both applications for hospitals and uh, healthcare workers which is a priority for us and then also for people to put it at their homes for disinfection what is going to be the price range for something like this so shraddha uh, basically we have uh, we have kept the price point very low uh, in terms of depending uh, especially when we are saying that there are multiple uv lights and everything inside there so these uh, components uh, particularly the uv lamps are uh, quite expensive and they are specifically uh, uh, chosen for this application uh, so, uh, even then this uh, one box will uh, basically uh, cost you an mrp of around uh, 799 there is another battery variant which you can use in mobile uh, use case for example uh, the delivery personnel can use it on their bikes uh, so that battery variant uh, is uh, will cost around 1399 so that those are the mrps Uh, for the government uh, applications, we are already providing it at discount on the GEM portal, uh, and uh, uh, we are uh, so trying to uh, get some grants so that we can uh, provide it to the government at even lower cost. So that that's yeah. how uh, we are looking at it. Is this the first innovation of its kind from India, or are there any variants of this anywhere in the world? So uh, there are no variants of this technology uh, in the world. Uh, this uh, this kind of precise uh, UV disinfection chamber is the first of its kind. There have been previously some examples of uh, UV chambers for disinfecting your phones and uh, uh, gadgets, but they are not uh, precisely designed for killing the coronavirus uh, because these viruses are very hard to kill and therefore require higher intensity of uh, UV exposure uh, to basically completely neutralize the virus. also if you look at this uh, uh, this slide that i have on the screen uh, so this uvc light uh, technology has been uh, tried out across the globe in this outbreak to desanitize various surfaces the key difference here is that uh, these uh, this attempts are not precise and for example if you uh, see this picture on your right hand corner uh, top right corner uh, there is no surety that the uh, that behind the pole uh, in the corner of the picture disinfection will happen because it is not in direct uh, line of sight of the uv lamp and hence uh, in in all of these cases there is no surety of complete uh, uh, neutralization of virus on all surfaces whereas in our uv chamber box it uh, it is designed in a way that every square centimeter of the object to place inside is completely uh, sanitized so now also you know at the at uh, in the in the us and some of the other centers the news is coming in uh, they are trying to use ultraviolet light to decontaminate the masks that they're using the ppes that they're using however you know the, right now there is no you know this box is designed for the specific purposes so they you know the attempts are like you, you take a room and they're trying to you know irradiate their mask you know putting it onto a string switching on a uv lamp that's already the, you know the doctors are trying at this point of time but with this technology what you can do is you can precisely know for sure that anything that goes in this chamber will get the necessary energy uh, but you know so in this desperate situation people are turning to uv people and these are these are healthcare professionals experts who know this stuff very well uh so we are we in so this look, fight is, yeah i mean here's the example i mean these two centers one is the nebraska medical center uh, and the second one is the umass uh, both of them have come up with these solutions they're putting this uh, uv lamp pillars 
you see the strings there in those strings they have put some clips uh, on those clips they are putting their masks uh, and doctors are coming in and they you put their mask and they have created a protocol through which they switch on the uv lamp nobody is there in the room at that point of time switch on switch on the lamp decontam try and decontaminate the mask and then try and re reuse it so this efforts globally is going on uh, but i think we are one of the first groups to kind of really nail it down into a very well spec design box in which the necessary energy and the wavelengths are ensured tell me about log 9 materials uh, shada as i was uh, mentioning uh, to you before log 9 materials is primarily a materials science and nanotechnology company uh, we have been using our expertise in this material uh, which is called the wonder material of the world graphene uh, to develop applications in the filtration and energy space Uh, so for the last uh, uh, two to and a half years, our flagship project has been to develop aluminium-based fuel cells, which will completely uh, transform the way uh, electric vehicles are thought about in India and the world. Uh, what that basically means is that without uh, the need for charging or charging infrastructure, you will be able to uh, power up an electric vehicle, and uh, you can go for more than thousand uh, thousand five hundred kilometers uh, before you need to refuel it rather than recharge it. and what all you need to do is that uh, you need to put in fresh aluminium plates inside this uh, the cells which can uh, run the vehicle for another 1500 or odd kilometers so that that's the uh, the biggest uh, flagship project of log name material at this point of time so uh, as a team we had a lot of competency in terms of designing hardware and product we are a very hardware intensive company so this was something which very much uh, was Didn't it didn't only intrigue us, but also was also a very need of the our project. We uh, bumped on and went uh, directly into it. How did you choose to get into this field? So, uh, Shweta, basically, I was working uh, in the field of nanotechnology now almost uh, nine years. So I started doing this in the second year of my uh, college. I was doing bachelor's uh, in uh, material science and engineering from IIT Roorkee. Uh, that's where uh, it started. and uh, uh, one of my grandfathers uh, basically uh, my real grandfather's brother it was a scientist at national physical laboratory in new delhi so uh, i started working with him he started to advise me and uh, uh, do my initial research in our technology that's where uh, i i think i think this journey started and then uh, in my final year uh, i uh, met karthik and then we uh, uh, got going on to this idea of uh, making a company around graphene so uh, this is uh, the the prototype which is going into uh, manufacturing we are creating the blueprints and uh, starting the process of uh, getting it manufactured at large scale which will uh, be available for uh, use by the public uh, next week itself so this is how it looks uh, so you you can see both the use cases over here so on the left hand side we are trying to disinfect our daily groceries uh, in this box and on the right hand side we have masks being uh, sanitized uh, in 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 the corona conclude with a message to everyone who will be viewing this what would you guys say yeah shraddha so i think you know we are in a war uh, this is a war on this is a war in which we are fighting a very unknown enemy and when we got started onto this we very quickly realized that uh, you know it is our collective intelligence that can allow us to win over this vector i also can probably share one thought you know uh, i remember reading by a very famous person a quote that got us all mobilized onto this that it only takes a few to solve the problem for all and i think we are working with that mandate that you know a bunch of us who are who have the necessary training the skill sets and access to technology i think together and everybody is doing i think we as scientists can probably go ahead and you know convert this out so and people have to get in touch you know if they want to uh, partner with you associate with you and if they want to get in touch with you how can they connect so i think the easiest way is that they can uh, 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 reach out to us on email or uh, all of our social media platforms are uh, alive of logman materials so we are uh, active on facebook twitter linkedin and uh, uh, my my email id is akshay at logmanmaterials.com and karthik uh, is similar karthik at logmanmaterials.com so uh, through any uh, email or any social media platform we are happy to get connected and take it forward uh, for the entire world log numerical9materials.com